<clears throat> Hello everybody, my name is Sniping is Fun, and I welcome you all back to this video I'm going to be presenting you guys here right now. Um, basically why I want to do this video, and you should probably know in the, you know, the description of the video, the name of the video, what it's basically about, but basically I wanted to do this video and actually as a response to basically a lot of the hate that Corin is getting basically in Smash Brothers. Basically a lot of people are going around basically saying, Oh, why do we have to have another Fire Emblem character? It's Dragon Marth. It's all this stuff about another, you know, Fire Emblem character. Everyone's going about saying that there's too many Fire Emblem characters. Right now with Roy as DLC and Corin along the way next year in twenty sixteen, we are basically on the verge of having six but our own characters when we in Brawl, we had two, and in Melee, we had two, so we jumped to four in uh, one game. And people are going around saying, Fire Emblem's not popular enough to get six characters! And all this, you know, other stuff about characters and, you know, other franchises that deserve characters more or are more popular. Oh, why is the, 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 you know, stuff like that. And it's like, this video is in response to people that don't really think about, like, you know, that, that hate on core and hate on inclusion of more Fire Emblem characters, it's just another Fire Emblem character! You know, that those kind of characters, those kind of people that say stuff like that, and basically in response to, we should have more Donkey Kong characters, or Star Fox characters, or Metroid characters, or Mario should have some more characters, or, you know, Zelda, or blah 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 blah, you know, other, other franchises deserve more characters. Fire Emblem does not deserve six. I wanted to basically state in this video, and I'm not going to go on too long, about, like, for, for what you people out there that basically, you know, that hate on Fire Emblem, hate on the inclusion of Korra, and more characters being included, regardless if Sakurai agrees with you or not, because quite frankly, he actually kind of did, but the team, his team wanted the Korra on the group. I would have took Korra over Roy. If we had to get one, I would have easily took Korra over Roy. Roy may have been my one of my melee, you know, mains, but... <laughs> I'd rather take that dragon cool character with the spears and everything. But like, I want to put this video together so I can talk to you guys out there, basically, that have that sort of mindset. What to contemplate when you're thinking about this idea, when you compare these franchises and the characters in them, who's on the roster and who can still be included, and, you know, popularity of franchises, you know, included or aside. Um, here's the thing a lot of people say. Oh, you know, other franchises deserve more characters. Star Fox, um, M Metroid, uh, Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong. That's the five I mainly hear. I don't really hear Mario so much, but there are people that nominate other Mario characters. But let's, let's look at those five specifically. Um, one thing I want you guys to know here, like when you compare those franchises... Donkey Kong, Mario, Metroid, Star Fox, and Zelda to your your Fire Emblem. There's one key difference there, which is the reason why any more Fire Emblem characters compared to these is the one big difference. And please don't take this as an attack. This isn't an attack. This is just a general thought for people to you know contemplate and think about before they start ranting and raving about bullcrap online like you know Core and Fire Emblem and Smash Brothers. Fire Emblem, and, you know, every game, practically, besides a few sequels in there, like, you know, uh, Heroes of Light and Shadow to Shadow Dragon, Radiant Dawn to uh, Path of Radiance, Fire Emblem 7 to 6, which was a prequel, you know, like, games that are connected to each other. Most Fire Emblem games are about new casts of characters, new groups. New main leads, new lords, new characters, new people. It's always changing. Well, when you go over here to, say, Mario, Donkey Kong, Metroid, Star Fox, and Zelda, it's always about the same cast. Mario, who are you going to play as? If you're not playing as Mario, you're playing as Luigi. There's very few chance that you're going to play as a Toad or or Peach, or Rosalina, or any of the side characters. In Zelda, you're always playing as Link, a version of Link, except for Power Warriors. 
um, where you can play as all the side characters. Um, Donkey Kong, you're always playing as Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong or Dixie, or, you know. But basically, Donkey Kong's always there. Metroid, you're always Samus, and then Star Fox, you're always Fox. Those cast of characters do not change. Player emblem changes. When it comes to these franchises over here, the Mario's, Donkey Kong, Zelda's, Star Foxes, and Metroids, all their main cast of characters are already represented in Smash Brothers. All they need to do now is side characters. While in Fire Emblem's case, there's always new major characters included because since 1990, we've had like 14 Fire Emblem games. And the series is going to continue. So that's the first thing I want to majorly say right there. These franchises hardly change characters. All they have left are side characters, like Mario, probably, Captain Toad, because now we have a major Toad. There's no reason to include a stupid generic Toad. Captain Toad, uh, Fawful, and um, Paper Mario are basically the only choices for that franchise right now, at this point. Waluigi and Daisy are too minor. Zelda, it's basically just impact at this point. It's too early for Linkle. It's too early for Lana. Uh, everyone else is kind of minor at this point. Uh, Metroid, it's always about Samus. So, who's the other major character? Ridley's too big. The Hunters are too old. Um, Adam Mouser's kind of missed his chance, as well as Anthony Higgs. The Federation Soldier might be a little too early at this point because of the Federation Force. You know, stuff like that. And Kraid and all that are too big. The bosses are too big, and Dark Samus is kind of old news now, too. Donkey Kong. Basically, it's Cranky and Dixie. K. Rule's kind of not super relevant, but it only has popularity on its side. And when it comes to Star Fox, it's basically Wolf and Crystal, unless you want to do Slippy and Peppy as well. But those characters, those are more minor characters that you add along the side. Fire Emblem's characters are always new major characters. We're going to get a new Fire Emblem eventually, probably in 2018 or 19 or something. There's going to be more Fire Emblem games. By the time the next Smash Bros. comes out, we're going to have at least two or three other Fire Emblem games. So that's two or three games to look at for new potential Fire Emblem characters in the next game. So my first point there, for people that complain, I'm just want this is just this is not me attacking you guys. It's just a general thought for you guys to consider and think of when you actually um, make these kind of points online or in your daily life, for that matter. For one, these franchises hardly ever change their character cast, and those cast of characters are practically already in Smash Brothers. This one always does, so is a shows the reason why. But then you go up and say, oh, these franchises are all more popular, more relevant, more history. Fire Emblem kind of has that too. Fire Emblem has been around since 1990. Fire Emblem has been gaining popularity. It's especially popular in Japan. It's one of their most popular Nintendo franchises in Japan. Where is Smash Brothers made? In Japan by Nintendo, a Japanese company. That's kind of relevant there. And it does have history. It's been around for 25 years. It's 25 year anniversary this year, in 2015, 1990. And it's growing in popularity. In my opinion, Mario, Pokemon... Well, Poke this is one of the things about Pokemon before I go anywhere, because I, I didn't mention Pokemon on this list. Pokemon I throw into the same category as Fire Emblem because there's always new generations for Pokemon. That's the reason why I don't consider Pokemon on this list, because I throw it in with Fire Emblem. But by the time the next... Po but when Smash Bros. 4 came out, we had Generations 5 and 6. Next, by next generation, we're gonna have, by next Smash Brothers, we're going to have Generation 7 and 8. There's always new generations, but that's the reason why I throw it in that category. They mention that. But like I said, back to the popularity thing. Pokemon, Mario, and Zelda are like the top three Nintendo franchises. In that group underneath it, I would basically put Fire Emblem alongside the likes of Kirby, Smash Brothers itself, and maybe Donkey Kong. And Star Fox kind of is in that category too, but Star and F Zero. And then Donkey Kong, like, as well. You know, those would all be underneath it. I'd put Fire Emblem in the same category as the likes of the Star Fox of Zero, Donkey Kong, and Kirby. You know, Met and Metroid's probably a little bit lower because it's kind of diminished in popularity recently. But it's still, like, maybe top level next to those, but not underneath them. So basically, so I don't go too long on this video, two main points I want to say to people out there that complain about too much Fire Emblem characters, too many Fire Emblem characters, all our franchises deserve it, this, 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 and that. One, the franchises that you're talking about 
practically already have their main characters included, because their franchise hardly ever changed, they always had the same cast, besides small side characters, which they could add alongside those choices. Fire Emblem always changes, there's always new games, they're always about new characters, there's a reason to include more, so you represent more of the franchise. Representing just Mario himself and his main cast, you represent the entire franchise. Representing just Marth, you basically screw over, you know, Alm's universe, um, Ike's universe, the Awakening or Space universe, you screw over Eli Wood and um, Ithram and Arika and Sig Sigurd and all that stuff. You just If you just represent certain characters, you're leaving out certain ones, and there's always new Fire Emblem games. On the other hand, popularity-wise, Stop trying to diminish Fire Emblem as not being a popular franchise when over the years it's been growing, especially now with Smash Brothers, you know, the main Fire Emblem, you know, it's getting popular outside of Japan, and it's always practically been popular outside of Japan, so there's that. Characters, um, like I said, popularity, it's rising, and, and there's always new characters. That's it. So people, please, please, I'm not trying to attack you. I really am not. But, think before you complain. Think. I'm, that's all I'm asking for, please. Because I see this online a lot. Too many Fire Emblem characters. Screw Corrin. He's just Dragon Mars. I'm Sniper Spawn. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. Have a lovely day. And like I said, please think before you post stuff online.